Three kids go into those woods. Only one comes out alive. The old English word for madness is wood. And I kept thinking about the madness of being lost in the woods. Lost in your madness. What really I loved about it, the books was the world was so alive. Angel. When I met up with Tana, she said that she'd always seen the books as coming in pairs. And so you could tell both those compelling stories in a really tight eight hour frame. The premise of the whole series is the discovery of a young girl's body arranged on an altar. You shouldn't be doing this. Why not? Because it's about you. And what we're doing is watching two people go to some very dark places to unpack those mysteries. Why can't you remember? The show is a psychological thriller, but coming at it from a very human point of view. Rob and Cassie, they both suffered a huge trauma at a young age. It's quite detrimental to them as people. No! They're mirrors of each other. That's why they're drawn to each other, and it creates a lot of chaos in their lives. This place also begins to play a part because this sort of feeling is that there's something alive in these woods in a kind of more Irish mythological way. These modern stories, they have parallels with ancient tales, and there is a sense that there are always other stories just waiting to break out. The journey that is in store is dark, and it's a very, very human story where everything just collides. If someone still clings to life, I think lucky. But what if they're killed? The lucky one.